right, here's the outfit I'm wearing today. Uh, these are seven jeans. This is a free people blouse. I'm pretty sure it's not available anymore. Sorry, but I'm just showing you what I'm wearing today. I'll look around and see if I see something similar to it. And I have on my free people clogs again today. And my toenails are still blue. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about this? Oh, I have on some old jewelry. This, you can get something similar for sure. This is uh, HRH, and this is a, uh, I can't remember, maybe Tropical Crystal. It's beautiful, isn't it? And this is something Pat got me, and this is something Pat got me. This is from like a, uh, maybe, I don't know, thrift store. And then, I think it's Crystal Set in Sterling Silver. And then he had a clasp put on it. And then I have on my blue crystals, and my black diamond, and my tanzanite. And I want to show you something else. I ordered this, Rowan. It came in this pretty black envelope. And uh, the reason I ordered this is because Rosie Huntington Whiteley was using it. Oh no. It's just got to be the right person to sell you stuff, right? It's got to be somebody that you want to be like. And the color is Disco Eye Universal. Very pretty packaging. Very, I think it's, she went over the top with the packaging and it's pretty expensive. It's got one of these little sleeves. It's pretty expensive. Then it's got gunmetal container. It's probably why they have to charge so much. And then here's the shadow. I'm going to add that to my look today. I don't know where. We'll just see what, where it takes me. She recommends you go in with your finger real hard. I'm going to put it right here on the inside. Right there. Did I get it? Yeah, I think I did. The lighting's not the same on both sides of my face, so I get confused. All right, there you go. All right, there's that. I think that's pretty cool looking. It'll be really pretty in the sunshine, right? Some more of my Elegante. I, I brushed my teeth since I last saw you. All right. So there's my, oh, look at there. My, my top knot's trying to scoot to the back. There we go. Oh, now it hurts. All right. I hope y'all will join me in the car for a conversation on my way to the Medi Spa. I enjoyed this uh, get ready with me that you saw in the previous, probably the previous days. I'll talk to you soon, like in five minutes, out in the car, grab you a coffee, and let's go. Ta-ta. Okay, we're in the car.
I'm bleaching my teeth as we speak. There's my eyes in the car. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go check to make sure the door's locked. All right, let's go. It's always locked. I don't know why I do that. Mm, cod liver oil. Okay, let's see if we can clean off these windows. All right, that helped. All right, come on, get moving. Move it along. Okay, seat belt on. So this is my free people blouse that I bought. I don't know how long ago I bought this. So I didn't watch any TV last night because I couldn't find anything to watch. Somebody said they wanted to be up closer. Okay, so let's get closer. There. Is that close enough? There wasn't anything to watch. So I... What did I do? Well, I worked on a, getting a video up for y'all. It was late, but... Better late than never, right? Alright, squirrels. Playing Frogger this morning. What else did I do? I read some. I bet I was asleep before nine last night. I was exhausted. The no caffeine thing was a boog was a boogaboo. I felt awful yesterday. I felt lethargic. I'm just not too sure that's something I'm willing to give up. I do feel well rested this morning though. So, um, the CC cream makes the, the foundation look very luminous, right? And, oh, I did not use any eyebrow glue today. For heaven's sake. I hope today will be okay without it. That was for any of you who did not see the video previous prior to this or you want to refresh I have Chanel CC cream on underneath Westman Atelier foundation applied with the 3D HD foundation brush from Sigma and I have Charlotte Tilbury magic away and number three is my eyeshadow primer and then I use the Sigma palette warm neutral Sigma palette with the Charlotte Tilbury iconic on my lids I use the Estee Lauder multitasker pencil and light brunette as my eyebrows I use the Lure Volume Re Revolution de Chanel as my mascara and because I couldn't find my eyelash curler I used the blow dryer to blow my eyelashes up I use the 8e forest green eye pencil on my waterline and I use the Sigma wicked pencil on my tight line between my lashes and a little wider on the outside. I used the Diorific Matte Lipstick in the color Elegante. I'll put the exact number for that lipstick in the description box. I used Ritual as my bronzer contour and I used the Sigma Cord, it may be Cord de la Rosa or Corda Rosa, I don't know, as my blush. I use Sigma brushes to, uh, to do this whole look. I use the NARS Creamy Radiant Creamy Concealer underneath my eyes in the color Creme Brulee and set it with La Mer. I set the rest of my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. 
I did not put on any highlight on my cheekbones. I did, however, put Maybelline Instant Age Rewind down the center of my nose, and I contoured my nose with the Ritual by Laura Mercier. My hair is a tutorial, a messy bun tutorial for my friend Anna. I pulled it up in a hair doodah twice, and the third time I, wrap, I balled it up and wrapped the, the hair tie around it, and then I held my hand in it like this and did pins like this. Kind of like you do a pencil. Remember you used to put your hair up in a pencil? You would go backwards and then forwards. Well, I did that with the hairpins. You don't open them and anchor it down so that it looks more complicated than it actually is. And then I curled a few, few tendrils around my face. And I, lit, I pulled this loose right here in the front. You can take your hands like this and pull it loose and pull it loose in the back so it has a little gift back there too. My earrings are those blue crystals. I think they're Swarovski crystals from Target, and that's why they're so fun. That's why they have such good sparkle. And then these are Tanzanite, and that's why they don't have any sparkle, because they're probably inexpensive stones. They're probably tan. They are Tanzanite. I bought them in the fine jewelry department, but they're probably poor quality. I think to get really nice ones, they're really expensive. And then that's a black diamond, and the only reason I have one is because one went down the drain. And that's my engagement ring. I, I'm off and on whether I want to wear rings or not. And then you saw these. These are a collection of, this one's an HRH, way, way, way back. I bet I've had this maybe eight years. It's like the tropical one. And then this is something from, you know, a thrift store. And then this is something from a little boutique. All of these two Pat got and that I ordered on my own. He wouldn't know where to start to order from. Although he did order me something from Lorraine Stanick once. Still hadn't ordered anything from Sephora. I've just been busy. I haven't had time to even look at the computer nor have I had time to watch any videos so if any of you that I usually put a comment on your video I haven't been putting a comment on your videos because I I haven't been watching any videos filling in for other people on vacation at the Medi Spa and then my own uh, makeup jobs and the YouTube um, my day is pretty full up Wow, and this is definitely not the time to leave for work. Right before 8. I guess we're behind the school bus. I don't know. This is stupid. Still have my same fingernail polish on. I know, my, my cuticles look rough. I don't know why. Let me know if you want to see an updated skincare video. Palu sent me some more products. So now I have the creamy cleanser, the toner, the cream, the moisturizing cream. Then I have a night cream that I put on that's more active, more treatment, more treatment type cream and an eye cream. Let me know if you'd like me to show you those. I think I think I'm seeing a difference. What say you? So Mother's Day is coming up. How many of you have children that make a big deal out of Mother's Day? Mine don't. Mine never have. I don't think any of them, well, I don't know. One year, one year Patrick did make a really big deal out of it. I thought it was a big deal. He had to go out he did. It was touching. He had to be out on a fishing boat before the sun came up. So he came by the house 
and left flowers and a card on the doorstep. I guess he did. I don't guess his... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I, feel, I don't think Pat would have done that. I'll have to ask Pat. Make sure Pat didn't do that. That Patrick really did that. Pat Jr. did that out on his own. Left flowers and a card on the doorstep before he went to work. It's really sweet, isn't it? Oh, man, it's touching. If I think about it too much, I might mess up my makeup. <laughs> This is really a drag. I could be at home getting stuff done rather than sitting here going 15 miles an hour on a highway. Bored out of my mind. We got some, uh, I was gonna say it's morning glory, but I think it's Virginia Creeper. A lot of people mistake Virginia creeper as poison ivy and they'll just leave it on their fence because they don't know that it's not poisonous. Our neighbors have Virginia creeper on theirs and they just left it. I don't think they did it on purpose. I mean, I think, that, I think they think it's poison ivy. Pat's done good to keep the poison ivy down where, where we have a problem. He's trying, he tries to protect Taco and I by removing things in the yard that could hurt us like ant like fire ants keep the yard clean so there's no place for a snake to hide keep the poison poison ivy or oak at bay so i haven't gone to see any movies yet kathy says that stephen king is one of her favorite authors she answered that in a in a q a therefore I wonder if she's gone to see the, if she went to go see the remake of It or the remake of Pet Cemetery. I'll have to ask her that in case she's gotten bored with my videos and doesn't watch me anymore. Nice to meet What to do while sitting in traffic. Do y'all listen to YouTube videos while you're sitting in traffic? Does it make your ride go faster? I'm between Wi-Fi connections. Next time I hit a Wi-Fi connection, I'll let you hear what I'm listening to. A lot of you do listen to my videos rather than watching them because I noticed that you ask questions at the end of the video that I answer in a in a caption. Because while I'm there now, the lip, everything. So, and I will take it out through the day. And put okay, I'm going to watch my way. video. I'll be back in a little the bit, and then we'll talk about it. Ta-ta. Okay, I'm watching this video still, and I needed to come on and comment to y'all. In the comments, and I want everybody that watches this video to comment. I want you to put in the comments, uh, I, I do own something that... Uh, by Jeffree Star with Jeffrey the Jeffrey Star is associated with either his own brand or some collab he's done or I do not own anything related to Jeffree Star everyone must comment on that no judgment I'm not gonna say either way y'all probably already know whether I have any or not anyway just just out of curiosity Maybe I can tailor my thought process when I'm doing a makeup video so that I know where, from what arena y'all are coming from. Put that in the comments. Do you own anything that's associated with Jeffree Star? Now I'm going to go back to my video. I'll be right back to y'all to comment. All right, I got bored watching the video. I'm gonna watch it again tonight uh, on my big screen so I can properly critique it. I can do anything. I, Taco and I can do whatever we want to in the privacy of our own room. Y'all don't have to know what we say. That was fun. He was guarding the gate. He looked like... <laughs> Smokey the bear. 
<laughs> with his uniform on. I kid you not. They have wildflower, a whole field of wild wildflowers planted out there at the entrance to Boone Hall Plantation. Can't get in there to take any photos that you have to pay the gate fee to get in to take pictures. Right to. So I have a makeup gig. If y'all get bored with me talking about my makeup jobs, just say, we don't care. In the comments, pause right now and say, I don't care if you don't want to hear about my makeup gigs anymore. But anyway, until then, I'll tell you this, this one. I have a makeup gig this Saturday. I think they're getting married on a, a cruise ship because I have to be there at 545 and it's not like right here in Mount Pleasant either. I have to drive to maybe North Charleston. It's a hotel that's close to the interstate so they can zip to where they need to be real quick. Anyway, yeah, I have to be there at 545 and I think I do four, four makeups maybe. I know. I think when I agreed to uh, meeting somebody at 5.45 in the morning, I was, uh, I had been experiencing the holiday lull in my uh, makeup jobs and therefore I had a holiday lull bank account. <laughs> and I was a little more of an eager beaver faux show. Anyway, so that means I have to get up at what? Four, leave at five, and then I have another makeup gig the next day. So I have one Saturday and Sunday this weekend. I know. I have a pocket full of cash. What the heck is going on with the cop? Why is he sitting there with the lights on? Who's he gonna pull? I swear, I left the house at 10 till 8, and it's 8.30. And, and I, I, have, I bet I have not gone 8 miles. It's ridiculous. It's insane in the membrane. Okay, yeah, he was pulling somebody. Yeah, I'm not hope I'm getting fully appreciated for my efforts. There's a life lesson right there. Anything you do, expect to not be appreciated for it. Expect it to be completely ignored, unappreciated, and criticized. Therefore, you'll never be disappointed in your efforts. It'll be like bonus. If somebody says thank you or whatever, bonus. Does anybody have a surgery uh, plant? cosmetic surgery. I don't want to know if you're getting a gastric bypass or a, getting a new kidney. <laughs> getting a new kidney is not cosmetic. Well, I guess it could be. Yeah, is anybody getting a, a little nip or tuck coming up soon? Breast lift, breast, yeah, a lift. Or mass, is it called mastoplexy? Breast lift, lipo, blepharoplasty, getting their eyelid, getting a little, little crescent of skin cut out of your eyelids. Some filler, some volume in your cheeks. Did you know if you get filler put in your cheeks up here, it pulls, it pulls this up? No, I don't have any filler in my cheeks. This is genetic, having hard having bony high cheekbones. It's genetic. And then the fact that my face is so skinny, that's keto. Because of my body ate all the fat out of my... More so out of my face than out of my arms and my legs. If you get Voluma, if, if you're having some slacking right here, if you get some Voluma up here in your cheekbones, it pulls that up. Pulls that skin up. We don't do much Cabela, which is the injection that you put here that dissolves the fat. We do a Cool Sculpt there, or we do a neck lift. I have not had a neck lift. 
left. We put Juvederm. We do. We use Juvederm to do lip and Vobella to do lip filler. Vobella is for people who just want to. Uh, they don't necessarily want volume. They just want to fix, uh, smooth out their lips. You know, their lips seem to be shrinking, and there's some lip lines. Vobella is your friend. I like the. I like to go all the way. I like to look like I have some, like I've had something done. So I get the Juvederm and I get the whole syringe put in my lips. Mostly, mostly in the top, in the outside. Also I get Botox right here and right here for the lip lip. And it doesn't last long for some reason. Uh, talking, I think, works it out. Work, work, work it out. If the corners of your mouth are disappearing, try, try a hit of Botox up here. I would go to somebody that knows what the hell they're doing, though. I bet that's what Rosie gets. Rosie Huntington White like, probably gets a little hit of Botox in the outside corners for a lip flip. Or guppy lips or whatever. If you don't like, uh, the way that looks, just don't look at my mouth. And if you don't like my golden goose tennis shoes, don't look at those. Sneakers. I don't get I don't get ready in the morning to say, hmm, I'm gonna blend. I'm not gonna stand out at all. I'm going to just blend with the mediocrity today. Yep, that's my goal. Alright. Y'all wanna see my eyes? Y'all have a great day. Be nice.